at least for six months. Try praying the night. I promise you, if you do, your life will be revolutionized. Your life will be transformed, conforming to the image of God. Try it. I never say for the whole year, why not try praying in the night? At least 30, 30 minutes every night. Even though it is four times in a week. Pray in the night. It could be from 12 o'clock to 1. Just any time from 12 to 3. Pray in the night. There is something about the night. The night hour is the time whereby all human senses are relaxing. All of them like that and sleep. That is the time you have to rise up. That is the time you wrestle with the rulers of darkness and put them to where they belong. Praise the Lord. Yes. The night is the time to create. It's a creating time. A time whereby the thief is planning to come, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. A time the evil farmer is trying to come and sow another evil seed in your farmland. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste pray in the night. At least 30 minutes as a new beginner. When you try it for four months, five months, six months, and you see how God has turned your story into the story of God's grace. In every area you desire God, you see the source, the every, that thing turning around for your good. Nobody will tell you pray in the night again. Test and see. It works. It works. Everything you need it. It will work together for your good. Try praying the night. Put your knees down. Pray. Forces of darkness move about in the night. Many people are afflicted in the night. Many destinies are tied in the hands of the authors and the idols and the precipices and powers. Great men and women, men of talent, men of gift, men of integrity, people who are supposed to be famous in life, who their fame is supposed to spread all over the world, their destiny is tied in the hand of the principalities and powers. This is why you have to put your knee down, lift up your holy hands and sing praises and pray unto the Lord for a breakthrough. The night hour is a time to create. When you start praying the night, you are owning a special light. You are owning a special light that no darkness can comprehend. This is a spiritual phenomenon. Anytime you kneel down and lift up your holy hands and pray and sing praises unto the Lord, the moment you start, there will be a special light that will own. Fetching out all your enemies, searching out all that belongs to you that God has written your name. You see them coming down from the grave. All, the, all your blessings in the grave. The grave retrieving them back to you. Destiny tied down in the warehouse of the enemy. All coming by themselves locating you. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. Many people are possessed in the night. When they lie down with no glory of God surrounding them, no, no power of God surrounding them, when the enemy see, when the principalities and powers of darkness, when force of darkness see greatness in them, they enter them at the sleep. Many eat in the dream, many have sex in the dream. That little breakage of marriage. Many eat in the dream that give them frustration when people, when they speak out, it's like a naughty person talk. Many people eat in the dream that make them to go to appointment and they reject their appointment letter. 
Many have buy something in their dream that destroyed their financial career. It's true. Dreams. Many are afflicted. Many talents are gifts are tied in the hand of the rulers of darkness. It takes prayer, praying the night to fetch them out and retrieve and all that belongs to you will be, will be retrieved back to you through prayer. Stop sleeping. There's an hour to sleep. There's an hour to pray. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of uh, uh, Proverbs 24 verse 30 to 32. Proverb 24, 30 to 32. He said, I went by the feed of the, of the slothful, the lazy person. Slothful. Sleeping around. The person doze off to sleep. He said, I went by the feed of the man who sleep around. The lazy man. The one who lie around sleepy and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding and lo it was all grown over with thorns and nestus had covered the face thereof and the stone was therefore was broken down then i saw and considered it well i looked upon it and received instruction experience provoke new law because of what he saw because of because of laziness because of sleeping when he's not supposed to sleep he said now i have now received instruction this is what sick sleeping have caused to him i will not sleep so that tongues will never grow in my vineyard no crops no wheat nothing other than tongues grasses unwanted grasses in the vineyard in the vineyard in the feed Lamentation chapter 2 verse 19 Lamentation chapter 2 verse number 19 Arise cry, cry out in the night in the beginning of the watches Pour out the heart like waters before the face of the Lord. Lift up thy hands towards him for the life of thy young children that faint for hunger in the top of every street. Do you want to come out of poverty? Do you want to redeem your children, your family out of poverty? Go on your knees in the night and pray. Not once. Continue. Let there be a roster on how you do it at least four times a week. From 12 to 3, put your knees on the ground and pray. Lift up your holy hands and pour your heart before the Lord. What do you want from God? All we work together for your good. Yes. He said you will redeem your children out that go from street to street begging for money. You will redeem, redeem them from poverty. True prayer. He said, Arise, cry out in the night. Pray in the night. In the beginning of the watches, pour out thy heart like waters before the face of the Lord. Lift up thy holy hands towards the Lord for the life of thy young children that faint for hunger in the top of every street. Do you want to re re redeem your family from poverty? Do you want to redeem the cause that is upon you because of the foundational error? Because of the, if the Bible says, if the foundation is being destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Do you want to redeem you and your generation because of the foundational error? Go on your knees in the middle of the night. Pour your heart before the Lord. Lift up your holy hands. There's power in lifting up hands. 
when Moses lift up his hands as he pray he won the battle when he dropped his hands the, the opposition party were apprehended were having power over him when they helped him to lift up the hands they finally won the battle lift up your holy hands in the middle of the night and pray taste and see that the Lord is good stop sleeping there's an hour to pray the middle of the night is a time to create Joshua chapter 2 verse 1 to 2 Joshua chapter 2 verse 1 to 2 why did Joshua send the two spies to Jericho in the night why did they enter Jericho in the night why did they left in the night what was their aim the enemy always planned to go to to capture territories in the night this is why the Bible said when a man sleep he said the enemy will come and sow a seed he will come and sow a tarries in the farmland Joshua chapter 2 verse 1 to 2 he said they enter Jericho in the night because verse 2 said they, they, they went to lay complaint before the king that the people they entered the ter- Jericho in, in the night and they left Jericho in the night why in the night because there is something about the night a time whereby the enemy move and you can't understand who is going night is a time you need the light to move perfectly night is a time to move where with light you cannot move where you dash your foot against the stone you need light in order to move and the word of god is the light praying to god is the light when you start praying the night in truth and the spirit a light back it up light starts shining that light shine darkness and darkness comprehend it not why don't they enter jericho in the day they will be apprehended why did they left in the night so that they won't be seen by no one the enemy always attack people in the night that's why you see cessing the dream eating the dream fighting here and there trouble everywhere writing exam without passing stay in the bus station not able to enter bus writing exam question writing exam in the dream where you are about to submit your question the Nepal will see light at times you cannot even finish you cannot even write anything night there is something about the night salvation is personal if you want to be the head and never the tail always pray let you should have a time to always pray in the night if you do your life will be revolutionized your life will be metamorphosed into the story of god's grace pray in the night try test and see four 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 times 30 30 minutes four four times in a in a week do it for six months there was a woman she needed something she don't know how to get it she started praying the night before six months all she needed was granted unto her the financial predicament was cancelled and the government the government she needed from the government was given to her she was even expecting two years from the government and they gave her indefinite stay she was planning how do can i go to nigeria prayer make them to give her the illimitata permits illimitata indefinite stay and the financial predicament was broken and she was she now began to experience financial breakthrough pray taste and see that the lord is good listen in Acts chapter 7 verse 55 Acts 7 verse 55 this guy Stephen he was very very anointed Stephen filled with the Holy Ghost and power so anointed that he being full of the Holy Ghost looked upon steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God listen Stephen was so anointed full of the Holy Ghost and power it's not what the Bible said here but when, when, when he stand before the enemy, they were about to stone him to death. He was saying, God, God is not doing anything again. Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Until you, the anointed, open your voice and pray, nothing will happen. 
They stoned him to death. They, if you look at that verse 55, if you look at verse 56 and 57, they stoned him to death. But he was filled with the Holy Ghost and power. Until, listen, you can, you, listen, the Bible said we have an angel of God going to and fro with us. Until you put your angel to work by sowing a seed on the life of the angel, they do nothing for you. You can be going with a multitude of angels. Which crowd will come and beat the hell out of you? Altars and idols, will, the forces behind them, powers, rulers of darkness, agents of darkness will come in the night and subdue you. Press the Jews, the happiness out of you. He says, say more, say more. Satan had desire to sift you as, to sift you as grain. They want to press you as you press the juice out of the orange. He said, I pray your faith never fail. That is the aim of Satan to everybody. On this thing, no matter how anointed you may be. He said, angels who are mighty, who are selling strength, waiting for the word of God to act. Until you put it, you put it into work. Angels will be with you. Witchcraft will come and beat a hair and take the good opportunities out of your life. They will be there folding their hands and be watching you. Angels are there when they are doing the work. Because the Bible said, angels who, who they go with you to and fro. Until you say a word, any principalities and power, any force that dark of darkness that rise an ugly face against my destiny. Now, angels of God destroy them right now. They, as you are put them to work, they start fighting. But if you don't know your right, if you don't know how to put the angels into work, some small witchcraft will come and be taking your, your, your opportunity away. He said, Those that do know their God shall be strong and do great exploit. Daniel eleven thirty two. 32. Now, knowing their God is one, do you understand your God? Understand the matters a lot. He said, Through understanding, you shall be established. He said, True, and has his beauty through wisdom. But through understanding, you shall be established. Through understanding of the word of God, you shall be established. Through understanding, you will go to your knee in the night and pray. Knowing God is one, understanding makes you to know that there's something about night. Yes. Those that know that if I know, if I said I know this man of God, yes, I don't understand him. No work is done. Knowing is one understanding make us to be established. Understanding make you enjoy wisdom. Let me put it this way. Understanding make you enjoy wisdom. Listen, if you have a bottle of Coke that can be covered with a cover bottle, that bottle of, of Coke, the liquid inside and the container, they are the wisdom. The container make you to enjoy the Coke. But understanding make you to enjoy it for a very long time whenever you want to use it. The cover bottle is the understanding. If you are not having the cover bottle of that of that uh, uh, container. When any become, and you say, "You want to fight me? You want to fight me?" You, for you doing like this, you will see the bottle, with the what, the liquid, with the coke, will, will pour out. By the time you say you want to fight me three times, or the coke inside all is off. But the cover bottle is the understanding. So with the with the with the with the container covered well with the liquid of coke inside, you can turn it to different direction with that. The, 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 the coke pouring out. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. You can be so anointed. If you don't sow a seed, the Bible said in Luke 8:11, the word of God is the seed. If you don't sow a seed in your life, what God has said concerning you, if you, if you don't repeat reminding God, telling God about what He has said concerning you. Satan will say you don't know your right.
Praise the Lord. In Luke chapter 6 verse 12. If Jesus pray all night. And you have the spirit of Christ in you. Why can't you pray all night? Is not what the Bible said in Luke chapter. He said, and it came to pass those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continue all night in prayer to God. Who is praying all night to God? Jesus. If the God you said you know that died for you on the cross of Calvary, pray all night. Why are you sleeping? When you sleep too much, the, another laborer will come and labor your the evil laborer will come and labor in your vineyard, changing your destiny, sowing an evil seed that will make you to labor and labor and labor and sweat to death. Because it's that laborer we are talking about is able to kill, steal, and destroy. It's not coming to sow evil seed, it will sow good seed. He's coming to sow an evil seed. That's what the Bible said. He said, when they slept, he said, his enemy came and sowed taris among his wheat. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. As anointed as TV, when he was, when he was, when he faced the enemy, he was, when he was to be stoned to death, as anointed as he when he raised up his head up, he saw Jesus standing at the right hand of God. But there is the Lord said, I am no more walking. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, I will do it for you. He saw Jesus. Did he even told Jesus? He said, Don't take their don't use don't take their error against them. Stephen talked to God that day. He said, Don't take their error against them. He said, don't use their sin against them. They stole him to death. You can be so anointed. Without you saying a word, sowing seed, the enemy will take over you and take over your territory. If the Lord can pray in the all night in Luke 6, 12, the Bible said, you are Christ and Christ is God. So you are supposed to be praying all night. But if you are not used to it, you can start 30, 30 minutes or even 15 minutes. Because there's something about 15 minutes. Praise the Lord. There's something about 15 minutes. Because today now, the weather will close here. 5.45. Next week, by 6 o'clock, there will be, be darkness because we are in winter. Then the upper week, after next week, it will not be 6.15. There's something about 15 minutes. So whenever you pray, from that 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the midnight, in the morning, lest it be. What did Job 38 verse 12 said? Job 38 verse 12. He said, Thou hast thou commanded the morning, see that day, and caused the day spring to know its place. What is this place talking about? Do you think the morning is talking about 7 o'clock in 7 o'clock in the morning when you are about to, or 6 o'clock in the morning? No. It's talking about that 12 o'clock. Once you enter 12, a minute after 12 in the midnight, morning have come. He said, very early in the morning, that 12 o'clock, he said, have thou commanded the morning since that day? Have you put your knee down and pray and command that day to act in your favor? However you want that day to become, so a seed that shall be so. That's what he's talking about. He's not telling you when after, after you have gone five, six hours, when you get up in the morning before praying, when, the, when there's traffic everywhere. There's traffic. That time, that 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock in the midnight, then a minute after 12, 1 o'clock in the midnight, 2 o'clock, that is morning. All human soul, majority of the soul, they are sleeping. The majority of every human senses are sleeping. No more traffic. From here, lift, go to Termini in the morning, by that 6 o'clock, you wake up or 8. You will see that from here to Termini, before you get there, if you take ordinary, this strata principally here, this road, major road, if you take major road without the other strata, it will take you 2 hours, 30 minutes. Because of hold up. There's traffic. Human senses everywhere. But when you pray in that night, 
no traffic. The moment you start praying, God hear you. When you start praying and praising God that midnight, the forces holding you down will be trembling. He said, this, he, said this, he said, we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power, against rulers of darkness in the heavenly realm. You are a citizen of Mount Zion. Ephesians 3 20 says, You are a citizen of heaven. So if you are a citizen of heaven, what concerns you with flesh and blood? You are not of this age, but you are in this cosmos, but you are not of this age. Did you know that in Acts chapter 16, verse 25 to 26, that at the midnight praises and prayer break the chain and break the gate of prison for Paul and Silas? It was in the midnight. Are you going to tell me they placed them in that prison in the midnight? Why is it that in the midnight, they praise this in the midnight? They reserve that prayer for midnight. They know that midnight is a time to create, to shift, to, to, to make a shift of destiny. To turn everything around, to work in together for your own good. Why are you here? Is it not because you love God? If you never love God, will you pass through the rain and come here now? When there's rain outside? When the weather is not okay, he said, Because you love God, Romans 8:28. Everything is to work together for your good. He said that he said now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. In Revelation 11 15, he said, The kingdom of this world has now become the kingdom of our God. Revelation level 15. He said, and he said, the kingdom of this world are now become the kingdom of the, our Lord. Do you know? He said, he said, he said, and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. As you are Christ, it means you can use light now to replace darkness. You can use light now to replace darkness. You can replace sickness with healing. You can replace love with hatred. He said, now, the kingdom of this world have now become the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ and of his Christ. Think about it. This kingdom have now become your own kingdom. Work it out. Make a shift. Turn it around. Work it together for your good. Know about him. Understand him. And know what to do. By understanding, you shall be established. Listen. In the realm of the spirit physically 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 huh? a crocodile in nigeria is a crocodile in canada it takes understanding for a crocodile to become a a, 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 a a lizard in nigeria is a lizard in canada but it takes spiritual understanding for a lizard in nigeria to become a crocodile in canada <laughs> ah, a life where everything is possible what was the life of Jesus the life of Jesus a life whereby he said with him all things are possible he said the kingdom of this world the kingdom of this age have now become the kingdom of our Lord Jesus and of his Christ and he shall reign forever and ever what's your name the kingdom of this world have now become the kingdom of Kevin Christ. And Christ Kevin shall reign and reign forever and ever. True understanding. It's not the kingdom of the darkness, it's not the kingdom of the devil. 
It has become my own kingdom. I make it happen in my own way. True understanding. Is someone getting it? Someone getting it? Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. Yeah. In the middle of the night, they pray. They know that the night hour is a time to make a shift. They get on their knees. And Paul and Silas begin to praise God. At the midnight. At 16. Verse 25 to 26. In the middle of the night, they pray and sing praise of the Lord. There was an earthquake that shook the foundation of the prison. The prison gate and all the iron bars, they were destroyed. They were liberated. Genesis chapter 32 verse 26. Genesis 32 verse 26. And he said, let me go for the daybreak. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. This is praying in the night. Jacob wrestled with God. It wasn't day, it was in the night. It was a prayer. He said, let me go for the daybreak. God tell him, it is now day. <laughs> Jacob said, no way. <laughs> I'm not letting you go. You have to bless me before I let you go. God said, what is your name? His name he said, his name is Jacob. He said, now you shall not be called Jacob. You shall not be called Israel. God changed his story. Do you want to be put? Do you want to put on a garment of praise? They start praying the night. Praise the Lord. Start praying the night. Psalm 134, verse 1 to 3. It said, Lift up thy holy hands in the night and praise and pray. Psalm 134, verse 1 to 3. He said, Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and earth bless thee out of Zion. When you lift up your hands and pray, the Lord that made the heaven and the earth shall bless you in Zion. Shall bless you praying the night, blessing God the night. When you do it, can't you see by yourself? He said, Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servant of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. Look at the benefit in it. He said, The Lord that made heaven and the earth, bless thee out of Zion. You have seen by yourself. You have heard now. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord has said to the church. Glory be to God. This is what I have for you. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs>